I'd say on the stories from the United States of America. Former U.S. President Donald Trump is making his presence felt in the Republican Party after a string of victories in the party primaries. Well, a longtime leader of the Republican Party's National Committee has now confirmed that she is leaving her post. Reports suggest people close to the former president are looking to take control of the organization. We're talking about Ronna McDaniel who was elected as chair in 2017 after running Trump's successful 2016 campaign in Michigan. She'll step down on the 8th of March, three days after Super Tuesday, when more than a dozen U.S. states will hold primary elections. McDaniel, whose resignation was expected, said it has been the honor and privilege of her life to serve in the role. Well, she further added, I'm quoting here, the RNC had historically undergone change once we have a nominee and that it was always her intention to honor that tradition. I remain committed to winning back the White House and electing Republicans up and down the ballot in November. McDaniel's resignation underscores how Trump has tightened his grip on the Republican Party in recent months. The former president is on the path to secure the Republican Party's nomination for the White House after cruising to victory in the first four early voting states in Iowa, New Hampshire, Nevada and South Carolina. McDaniel was handpicked by Trump to lead the RNC in 2017. Trump recently said that he wants to install a new handpicked leader for the National Party ahead of the elections this year. Trump says he favors Michael Watley, chairman of the North Carolina Republican Party, and his daughter-in-law, Lara Trump, for co-chair. Now, Trump's endorsement all but guarantees their rise, though technically the committee's 168 members must decide on the next party chairperson.